folks, this is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. With that, let's get up to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. We're standing by for the call are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by their 6'5 quarterback out of North Dakota State. It's Carson Wentz. He didn't have as many throws or plays in college as many of the quarterbacks that were coming out in the draft, but he maximized what he had. Ended up winning two national championships as a starting quarterback at North Dakota State. now on first down. Caught by the tight end Ertz. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Second and 11 now. Wentz to the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body. Ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control. And you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Here's the offense, and sometimes you got to show love to the big guys. That you do. And we're talking about Jason Kelsey now, not Travis, his brother, who plays tight end. Jason lines up at center, a threat to go to the Pro Bowl each and every year. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Here we go. 180. 
We're scoreless after one. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they're facing a very tough third and 11. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Working from the gun, Wentz. And that will be incomplete. I will see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. Marcus Sherrill's deep for the Saints. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They begin on the ground with Kamara, and he'll take this one up to about the 13. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Ready? The run got Ready? four. Ready? Now they deal with a second and six. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the gun, it's Breeze. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Reminder coming up at halftime. We'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half. And our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. <laughs> now a late flag comes in as they got him down via the face mask, and that'll give him even better starting position. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Go, go. The Let's Eagles go. offense sent to begin their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, 
you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. A very solid gain of 27. So they're on that play offensively. They were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend there? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Wentz. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, 27 yards as his guys are on the board first here tonight. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-0. So they only needed three plays on that drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Break dirty. Breeze now on first down. He gets it to Thomas. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Good, 
55, 56. Check, check, 154, 154. Throwing on first down is Breeze. He's got a man open. It's Cameron Meredith. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here we go. Here we go. Shotgun now for Breeze. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Brandon Graham applying the heat off the edge. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best go, they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a hard-fought battle to this point. 7-0 is the score, but neither offense really able to get on track. But let's not waste any time. We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the second half. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. 
These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They start the second half with Camara, and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four tough first half for him unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing but with a guy like him you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well following the pickup of four here's second and six again it's Camara. not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30 I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. Ready? They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Here's Breeze. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and ten at the 45. They'll begin the drive with Howard. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Check, check, 47. Listen. Push him back. Push him back. From the gun on third down, Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them. And they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game. 
This drive here can erase all of what happened previously. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 11. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target, but it'll be second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Breeze now on first down. That'll be complete to Cook. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That throw good for four. It's second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. Completes this one to Meredith. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Just too many short underneath throws. They've got to get the ball downfield. And in a hurry. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. there that would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it instead it gives him one more chance here on fourth down so he's unable to complete it there and just not the game that you would expect from him he's been off the mark really start to finish yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on is he a little bit dinged up here or is it just off just by a bit maybe he can get it back in this situation he'll need to down seven and they've got to go for it here on fourth down They'll go for it. It's Breeze. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that will take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. So first and 10 now from the 30. Let's go one more. Now Howard. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. They go with Howard again. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Running with Howard. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. The seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Saints will have the football back. So Breeze and the Saints down 7 nothing. A little under 40 seconds to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. I remember being taught that cliches have become so for a reason. A lot of times they're true, right? What's that they used to tell us about letting sleeping dogs lie? But this one wasn't sleeping. Maybe it was just slumbering a little bit. But taking that gamble there, you've got Ready? the lead. You may have ignited them now they stopped you. That's exactly right. If you take the points here, you don't shift momentum necessarily on that play. You probably just did. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Brandon Graham in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. The Saints in the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. Back to throw Breeze. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense, obviously stuff to work on. But they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But well, you know what they say. It's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket. And that's what they've got going forward. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles are winners here as we say so long from Philadelphia.